Hi guys, welcome back. This is Live Creative and I'm Denise Francis Robinson and I'm so happy that you are here again for day three. Day three is all about preparing altered surfaces or what we call altering the ground. That is, how many of you guys have been caught up with um, staring at a blank canvas and almost nervous to put the first mark on that canvas to be um, almost af afraid. <laughs> I'm going to show you today with some simple tips and tricks how we can alter the surfaces, have some fun, recapture that five-year-old self that you know we're, we're, we're um, trying to chase and um, provide some new opportunities for some amazing artwork. And in preparation for that awesome art that you're going to be producing, remember we want to relax, we want to take that quiet time, you know, make it like a little sacred space for yourself, you know, you don't want to be jumping up and um, stirring the pot or running errands or whatever, so it's that little time for yourself. And in preparation as well, we're looking at our materials. I'm going to be working with some paint today, I'm going to be working with the sponge, um, a newspaper and uh, um, a candle hmm. and of course good old sharpies I don't know why I keep going back to good old sharpies I love I love sharpie markers actually and of course naturally our blank space here's this page where I wrote my favorite quotation why creep when you were born with wings to fly I added the color wash, tissue overlay, and more writing. And while I was doing that, what happened was that the image of a butterfly occurred to me. So I developed this page coming out of this, and I repeated the quotation in and out. And this is just a quick example of how your altered pages can grow. Working with our school supply paint, very inexpensive. Color washing is just adding lots and lots of water to your paint pigment. Getting a nice big brush. No more fear of this white space because watch this. Okay, now what am I doing? Why is she painting all over the place like that? Oh, well, that's how my five-year-old self used to interpret working with paint. So with light, light paint, you're creating what's called a wash. Lots of water little bit of paint and in this class we can paint any direction in any way we want and I'm limiting the amount of colors that I'm using yeah I'm adding some yellow now same color wash idea and just putting it in random spaces and random places and basically you are done how long did that take ready for your beautiful quotation that you so love to use all the time to emphasize this process. Altered surface number two is using cheapest paper I have, which is newspaper, to strengthen my pages in my book and to make the page completely different to what it was before and break that barrier that we have set up in our minds around the blank canvas or the white page, all right? So this is very easy. Fill out all of the page with your glue like this. Place the newspaper down like that and then cover it over with some glue. Again, glue is already there. Place the paper down just like this and then cover it over again with some glue and that's it. And you just keep going until the whole thing is filled. And again, just finishing up here, little tiny spaces, strengthening up my pages preparing this ground, preparing this surface for who knows where my play is going to take me. Last thing I'm doing is doing what I did in the previous technique to put a color wash over the paper and it's mixing with the glue and you're going to find that when it dries it's actually a nice finish, a beautiful finish and you'll see all the texture of the newspaper coming through you'll see the tint you'll have taken away that white scary white and prepared yourself for some new awesome work and of course this process in itself is a very soothing and very very healing kind of process i i enjoy this tearing of paper and gluing 
completed putting on all the newspaper. You see that beautiful texture of the text underneath. And I'm now just applying some color wash, like I showed you in the very first, the first technique, and changing that black and white to a little bit of a haze of blue over it. You can use any color you want, of course, but you can see the surface is fully altered. And when this is dry, the, the page of the book will be very, very thick and nice for putting on other media. Excellent. So guys, this quote by George Bernard Shaw stuck with me. He said, we do not stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. So let's keep the playing going. Tip number three, let's do it. So tip number three, using your candle and a page that I have already written on. I, I wrote, did a little bit of free writing, you know, just from a stream of consciousness using my Sharpie marker. And now I'm going to go over that, still altering the surface. It's already fully altered. You can see that, right? But I'm going to add more to it by just rubbing the candle in different directions. Scribble, scrabble, like what we did in the first day's lesson. And continue doing this back and forth, just randomly leaving spaces. You're not really seeing what you're, what you're drawing. And we'll see how it works out once we do the next step. Wait for that, wait for that. Here is what happens. You're gonna grab back, you're gonna grab back the paint that you had before, and you're gonna slowly paint across the surface. And across the surface, and now you notice what's happening. What happens is that as I move the paint across where I had put the wax, the wax resists the water. So it pushes, pushes the, the color away. So the color is only grabbing onto the spaces that there is no wax. And that's continuing to shift the surface, to alter the surface. So take your time with this part, all right? Don't rush this part too much. And you have to kind of test the consistency of the paint. It's not too watery and it's not too thick. Try it out now, guys. Overcoming the fear of the blank surface with a color wash, light paint, lots of water, little bit of paint. Then we have using the newspaper and text, cheap paper, of course. And then we have the candle wax with paint going over it like a wax resist. Um, altered paper again with free writing and then the candle with the new with the paint going over it with the wax resist so now it's over to you guys try any one or two or three or all of these and there you have it guys tips for creating altered surfaces now remember this is a layering process so what you've just done is shift the white paper into a new space getting ready for your awesome art and so I just want you to make sure that you practice this. Hope you had a little bit of inspiration. Hope you had a little bit of fun and relieve a little bit of that stress that we're all experiencing. So until next time, live creative. See you tomorrow.